Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are digging this up from the topic of matrices and determinants. And if I talk about the question which is taken from this topic, the question tells us, let the determinant of a square matrix, let's say it is determinant A, of square, this is a square matrix whose order is M, M cross M is your order. And we have been told that the determinant of this matrix A is equal to M minus N. With M and N satisfy two linear equations. The first linear equation is 4M plus N is equal to 22. And the second linear equation given to us is 17M plus 4N is equal to 93. So these are the two linear equations. And further, we have been told determinant of n of adjoint of adjoint of m a this entire thing is given to us as 3 raised to a 5 raised to b and 6 raised to c then we have been told to find the value of a plus b plus c. so we need to figure out the value of this entire expression a plus b plus c and if you see the option that matches here with the question the options are 96 84, then you have 109 and the last option given to us is 101. So we need to figure out which one of the following four options is the correct answer for the question given to us. We have been given four, two linear equations. One is 17M plus 4N is 93. The other is 4M plus N is equal to 22. So these are your two linear equations given. If I try to figure out the values of m and n by solving these two linear equations. So if I see this linear equation given 17m plus 4n is equal to 93. If I try to make this linear equation also with the same coefficient here of n, if I multiply this with 4, it gives me 4 into 4, 16m plus 4n is equal to 88. So if I try to solve this further, this gets subtracted. You have n cancelled. 17 minus 16m, which is m. 93 minus 88, which is 5. So you have the value of m as 5. Putting the value of m as 5 in this equation, let's put it in the second equation, which we have. So put m equal to 5, you get 4 into 5 plus n is equal to 22. So n in this case becomes 22 minus 20, which is 2. So you have m as 5, you have n as 2. If I solve these two linear equations to get m and n, if I take the subtraction of the two, I get m minus n is equal to 5 minus 2, which is equal to. So I get the value of the expression of m minus n that turns out to become 3. So if I write this entire expression now, let's try to find the value of the left-hand side of this entire determinant. So before that, if I use the idea in the determinant, we already know that a joint of a joint of A, it is given by determinant of A raised to N minus 2 into your matrix A, where N is nothing but order of the matrix, which in this question is M. So do not get confused between N and M because N here we are representing it as the order, but in the question it is given to us as M. So first let's generalize this idea and then we'll use this idea particularly for our question by replacing n by m. So first try to solve this. So if I see determinant of a joint of a joint of A, that basically becomes determinant of this entire expression into A. So determinant of this entire expression, if I try to figure out, Determinant of A raised to N minus 2, if I take it out of the determinant, it becomes determinant of A raised to N minus 2. And if I'm taking this entire expression out of the determinant, we raise it to the order N. 
So in this case, for the generalization, we are taking the as n. So we are putting that as n into determinant of a. So if I try to solve this, I get this determinant of a. This becomes n square minus 2n. And this is determinant of a. So bases are same. The powers get added. So here nothing is there means there is 1. So n square minus 2n plus 1 becomes the idea for the determinant of a joint of a joint of a where we know n is the order of the numbers. Now, if I use this same idea, particularly for our question, so we have to find determinant of two into, so basically how I'm getting two here is it's given in the question that determinant of n, a joint of, a joint of m into k. So if I try to figure out, I get determinant of two, a joint of a joint of 5a that's your entire expression so if i try to figure out the value of this entire expression with solve it so determinant of 2 a joint of joint of 5a it is equal to if i take these two out of the determinant i get 2 raised to the order order in this case is m so i'm putting m so 2 raised to m into determinant of a joint of a joint of 5 into, 5 into n. So you get this entire turning out 2 raised to n into determinant of 5a raised to, we already you have the idea n square minus 2n plus 1 when n is the order. In this question, instead of n, we have m as the order. So it becomes m square minus 2n plus 1. If I try to solve this idea, Let's see what I get. So you have this entire expression toning out 2 raised to 5. Here you get determinant of 5a, the whole raised to 5 square. So 5 square minus 2 into 5 plus 1. So you get this entire thing as determinant of, sorry, not determinant. You have 2 raised to 5 first and determinant of 5a raised to 5 squared 25, 25 plus 1 is 26, minus 10, so it becomes 16. So if I solve this further, I get 2 raised to 5. 5 raised to 16, which is there. If I take it out of the determinant, again you get 5 raised to 16. That is raised to your order, that is n. And determinant of a also we know. It remains determinant of a raised to 16. So basically it becomes 2 raised to 5. 5 raised to 16m, where m is 5, and determinant of a, we already know it is 3, so 3 raised to 16. So if I solve it further, it becomes 2 raised to 5, 5 raised to 16m, where m is 5, so 16 into 5 is 80, and you have 3 raised to 16. So if I try to solve this expression, we know that this is equal to 3 raised to a into 5 raised to b into 6 raised to c. So if I try to write it, if I try to write it in terms of 3 raised to a into 5 raised to b into 6 raised to c, I can split this as 3 raised to a into 5 raised to b. 6 I can write as 3 raised to c into 2 raised to c. So you get this entire thing as 3 raised to a plus c into 5 raised to b into 2 raised to c. So if I write this entire answer, which I'm getting in terms of that, it is 3 raised to 16, 5 raised to 80, and 2 raised to 5. So from this, I am getting this as comparing these two ideas, B is equal to 80, C is equal to 5, and we have got a plus c is equal to 16. That gives you a as 16 minus c, which is 16 minus 5, that is 11. So I get a, b, c. Now let's just figure out the values of a plus b plus c. That is 11 plus 80 plus. So 85 plus 11, which is 96. So I get the value of this entire expression of a plus b plus c, which is 96. And if you see that option, that matches with option A. So A is the correct answer for the question given to us. 
i hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on matrices so we just needed to use one idea in this entire question and that was this thing that determinant of a joint of a joint of a is equal to determinant of a raised to n square minus 2n plus 1 where n is your order of the matrix once you know this entire idea you can solve this entire question easily and you can get it in terms of powers of 2 3 and 5 Comparing that, you get A, B, C, and you'll just find the sum that matches with option A. So, A becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on matrices. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JW means as well as it. So, stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of the questions on JW. Thank you.